Okay, now we're at 82560 Chino Canyon. Again, this is a Monaco at 1,623 square feet, two bedroom, two bath. As we approach the front door, you'll see that we do have the breakfast nook windows. Does not have the stone exterior like the other home did. This does have an ADT alarm camera. It also has a keyless entry. Now this home is vacant. So we have the wooden shutters in the great room, the TV um, mount, shutters overlooking the backyard, ceiling fan, there are six ceiling fans in this house. Reach over to the right here and we see the kitchen. It's got the hanging pendant lights. It has the soft closed drawers and doors. It's got the quartz countertops, dual basin sink. We go over here to the breakfast nook area. Then you have the pantry. Multiple shelves. We walk into the laundry room area, cabinets above the wash and dryer or where the wash and dryer would go. Then we have a beautiful garage. It's got the epoxy flooring. It's got the windows like the other one to let natural light in, but it does have the epoxy flooring. It's got a tankless water heater there in the corner. It's got the side exit door that leads to the trash can area. And this particular house, they put in a paver pad, walk path, and the privacy gates to get to the trash cans. And if you open up this, we have a pavered path to your driveway at the front of the home. Going back into the garage, up on the wall here is a, a mini split air conditioner, which can keep your car and your things cool during the hot summer months. So that's what that is, and it's controlled by this little uh, remote control here on the wall. But again, it's got a, a, an epoxy flooring. Let me go back into the house, into the laundry room and go into the kitchen. We have a five burner range, the microwave, the oven. We're gonna make a turn here to the right and this is where the guest um, bedroom and bathroom are. Again, another one of the six ceiling fans in the house. Windows, two windows in the home. And as we saw in the other home, there is the closet there. It's got two doors that slide open, and it's just a standard closet inside. With the two bars on the right side. Then going back this way, we enter the guest bathroom. It's got the ceramic tile shower. It has the dual flush toilets, the undermount sinks, again, the soft closed drawers and doors. And of course the shutters over the windows. This one here has the upper and the lower cabinet. Instead of two full cabinets, it has the upper and the lower cabinet for storage and also to put photographs or knickknacks on top of the counter there. And this is where the dining area would be. The great room. And the kitchen again. So now we're gonna go down into the den. Now this one here has French doors located on the um, exterior of the open office space area to allow you to close it and create another room. It also has the built-in cabinets, which are down here, the file drawers. It's got the holes in the top for the computer wires and the windows do overlook the backyard and the patio. But again, the French doors allow you to close the room off like so, so it becomes another room rather than just an open space. Okay, another ceiling fan there. Then we enter the master. Again, lots of natural light. 
Then we enter the master bath. We have the dual vanity sinks. We have the ceramic tile shower with a glass accent band. And then we have the water closet. Again, dual flush toilets. And then we walk into the walk-in closet similar to the other home. And then we're back out to the master bath. We're going to be heading out through the bedroom. Past the office space on the right to the patio. Here in the patio, it has the pavers on the patio, along with the extended pavers that surround the fire pit. It's a hard line gas line fire pit. It has real grass in the backyard, landscape lighting, irrigation. And it does have some mountain views. If you look off to the left, in the covered patio. And then you do have a side access gate here on the side of the home. Another ceiling fan. And then again, the fire pit. 